But here is Louis C.K. from 2010 on the Opie and Anthony show. Hopefully all the words that needed to be bleeped have been bleeped. Cut 15, where he's attacking Sarah Palin. Go. You know who makes me sick to is Sarah Palin when she talks about the joys and the challenges oh, yeah, of, having a, yeah. of, of having a Down syndrome child. Her baby is under one year old. It doesn't matter yet that it's retarded. That's true. It, doesn't, all, it all hasn't are, started right, to become right. an issue yet. At that age, it's all what like matters is when the kid acts the way it does now when it's 15 years old. Then it becomes a joy <laughs> and a challenge. <laughs> but when she was standing on that stage at the f***ing convention holding a baby that just came out of her f***ing disgusting <laughs> her f***ing retard making c- oh, and she man. held it up hate her more than anybody and she held it up and said this is really hard raising this really it's a baby P- to stick your c- in its mouth now I've got three Obama constituents three individuals who are going to vote for Obama one of whom has contributed an enormous amount to Obama's campaign and on behalf of President Obama's daughters I want to denounce these three Ed Schultz, Keith Oberman, and Bill Maher. On behalf of his daughters, my daughter, women all over the country, because Obama won't do it. Obama hasn't done it. So on behalf of everybody's daughters, wives, sisters, mothers, grandmothers, and stepsisters, and on behalf of Michelle Obama and their daughters, Listen to this montage so I can denounce these people. Go ahead. President Obama is going to be visiting Joplin, Missouri on Sunday. But you know what they're talking about? Like this right-wing slut, what's her name, Laura Ingram? Yeah, she's a talk slut. So the next time I say something about Michelle Malkin being a bag of mashed-up meat with lipstick on it, I'm called sexist by conservatives. Sarah Palin uh, finally heard what happened in Japan. (laughs) And... uh... She's demanding that we invade tsunami. I mean, she says these tsunamians will not get away with this. Oh, oh speaking of dumb <laughs> did you, um... A million dollars for Janet Jackson's nipple. Think what they could get for Hillary Clinton's <laughs> What kind of moral outrage are we talking about here? The President of the United States exposed himself at his press love-in today. He ignored the reporter who was asking him about Bill Maher because he doesn't want to give the million dollars back. And he likes Bill Maher. And he likes what Bill Maher says. And I know this because he won't condemn him. And he takes his million dollar check. Uh, Listen, I can do this all day with the left. There's plenty of them out there. I wonder who Louis C.K. is voting for, Mr. Producer, don't you? No wonder at all. I wonder if he would vote for Rick Santorum or Newt Gingrich or Mitt Romney. Or will he be voting for Barack Obama? I wonder. Where's all the outrage over this? Is there any? Zero. And he's invited to the 68th annual radio and television congressional correspondence dinner. Congressional correspondents, that is the reporters for radio and TV, and they're going to invite all kinds of cool people, radio and TV executives, advertisers, famous people, infamous people, all gathered there to be seen together in the same room as Louis C.K., who is headlining the event. And the libs will laugh, and they'll giggle, they'll have a grand old time. And then they'll leave, and then the next day, they'll be attacking conservative talk radio, Rush Limbaugh, Sarah Palin. Now, Obama at his press love-in today, he doesn't like any of this because he's speaking out on behalf of his daughters. You know, the reason I called uh, Ms. Flute is because uh, I thought about Malia and Sasha, and one of the things I want them to do Uh, as they get older, is to engage in issues they care about, even ones I may not agree with them on. I want them to be able to speak their mind in a civil and thoughtful way. Um, And I don't want them attacked uh, or or called uh, horrible names because they're being good citizens. And I wanted uh, Sandra to know that uh, that I thought her parents should be proud of her. What a joke.